Bless the Lord, my soul. Oh, bless the Lord, my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. For he has done great things. He has done great things. He has done great things. Bless his holy name. For he has done great things. He has done great things. He has done great things. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul. Oh, bless the Lord, my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul. Oh, bless the Lord, my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Well, God bless you. Good morning, Sister Mika. God bless you. Elder and Sister Dorset. Good morning, Sister Newby. Good morning, Tamika. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Shy. God bless you, Sis, um, Sister Banks. Good morning, Sister Jackson. God bless you, Yusuf. Good morning, Grace. Good morning, Sister Newby. Good morning, Deacon Bryant. God bless you. Good morning, Brother Henderson. God bless you. Good morning, Jewel. God bless you. Good morning, Dr. Harrison. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Praise the Lord. God bless you, Minister and Mother Morris. Good morning, Missionary and Deacon Davis. God bless you. Good morning. Praise the Lord and God bless you, Mother Hudson. Good morning, Missionary Domingo. God bless you, Brother Bailey. God bless you. Bishop and Mother Joseph, your family and all the saints in Trinidad, Tobago, God bless you. Sister Mary, God bless you. Pastor and Lady Williams, God bless you. Sister Jackson Perry, good morning. Sister Bailey, good morning. Rosalind, good morning. Duchess, good morning. Sister um, Stokes and Brothers Deacon Stokes, God bless you and your family. Good morning, Sister Cheek. Good morning, Tiana. God bless you. Good morning, Mother McLeod. Good morning, Bishop and Lady Alde and your family and all of the saints in the Allegheny Diocese. Good morning, Deacon Grant. God bless you, sir. Good morning, Mother Frederick. God, Sister Frederick, God bless you. God bless you, Sister Bailey. God bless you, Missionary Brian. Good morning to you. Good morning, Dr. Haywood and Sister Haywood and your family. Good morning, Sister Riley. Good morning, Dr. Jennifer McCarroll Johnson. God bless you. God bless you. Brother Paul, thank God. Praise Jesus. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Lady Morton. God bless you. Good morning, Missionary Bryant. God bless you. Good morning, Lydia. Good morning, Mother Fields. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Walker. Good morning, Sister Roseford. Good morning, Sister Wilson. God bless you. God bless you. Sister Green Jefferson. God bless you, Elder Smith. Praise the Lord to you. Well, good morning and praise the Lord, everybody, and welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. And as always, it's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to be able to spend a few moments with you with a biblical meditation and in prayer. For more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. And I thank God for the grace that we access daily through prayer. God giving us grace. God giving us favor 
and sustainability and the blessings of God to stand in the midst of every situation of life. He continues to show himself faithful and we are indeed grateful and thankful to him for just daily, daily waking us up, daily keeping us, daily sustaining us, daily bringing us through. And it's all because of the grace of God. As always, if you have a prayer request, we want you to share it with us. If you're on Facebook, you can place it right into the chat or you can inbox register. Davis or Inbox Refuge Temple Church. If you are on Instagram, you can place it right into the chat on the screen or you can direct message Pastor RJD. And to everybody who's on the conference call, everybody who is on YouTube or anybody can text in your prayer request. And that number is 336 336- Five six seven five three five eight. Again, the text line is three three six five six seven five three five eight. You can text in your prayer request. We're adding them to the prayer list. We're praying over them, and we are believing God with you for what we know God is indeed able to do. I want you to join us now in Psalm number eighty nine. Psalm number eighty nine. And I want to read verses 1 through 4. Psalm number 89. Excuse me. Verses 1 through 4. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness to all generations. For I have said, Mercy shall be built up forever. Thy faithfulness shall shall thou establish in the very heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn unto David my servant. Thy seed will I establish forever and build up thy throne to all generations. Build up thy throne to all generations. This morning I want to talk to you concerning God's mercy and covenant. God's mercy and covenant. Um, This psalm is an attempt to reconcile what appears to be a contradiction of his theology and his reality. And there are times, there are seasons, there are moments when there is a disconnect between the written, the printed, and the believed theology, and sometimes what we actually see. We live in an imperfect world, filled with imperfect people, also with a world system that is influenced by the temptation and the mechanizations and the um, efforts of the enemy to destroy life. And in this you have to come to this understanding of, first of all, what God has purposed versus what we see. And then the fact that in many cases, we don't live up to God's expectation. We don't live up to God's covenant. And it seems like um, what we have been told, what we believe is not always what we see. Um, sometimes we're in process and we're trying to get to the place where God has ordained us, where God has established us. But I want to emphasize as we open this, this several, fairly lengthy psalm, it's 52 verses, that the psalmist is writing concerning David. His name is Ashite or Ethan rather, and Ethan was probably... Um, a Levitical singer who wrote this song. But he opens the psalm saying, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. Everything that we have, everything that God has done, everything that God has manifested is a function of his mercy. Now, this is important because there's a lot of us walking around feeling, believing, and thinking as if somehow we earned what we have. We earned what we have. But whatever God has done for you, he has done it through his mercy. He didn't do it because you were lucky or smart or 
e easy or efficient or intelligent or intellectual. Whatever God has done in your life is a function of his mercy. And that's why every believer ought to be somewhere with their hands lifted, their mouth open, giving God glory because his mercy created the opportunity that you enjoy right now. You didn't earn it. I didn't earn it. None of us merited it. I know we've been faithful and I understand that we have tried to live by God's covenant, but it's still his mercy because by divine justice, all of us should have been cut off. By divine justice, all of us should have been lost. All of us should have gone to hell. And that's why he says, I'm going to sing, celebrate, and thank God for his mercy in my life. And with my mouth, I will make known thy faithfulness to all generations. Let's talk for a moment about the faithfulness of God. God is without question the most consistent being in the universe. Let me say that again. God is without question the most consistent being in the universe. The sun rises every day. The moon does her circuit around the earth every Every month. We do a circuit around the sun every year and nothing is altered. That is the consistency of God. Every day there is air, there is water, there is food, there's provision because of the consistency of God. Every day God is showing himself to be the God that he is. Your heart beats without you thinking about it. Your heart continues to pump blood. Your lymphatic system does its job. Your, your lungs do respiration. All of that because of the faithfulness of God. And the psalmist Ethan says, I will make known thy faithfulness. Lord, this is not me, but this is you. Oh God, this is not my doing. This is not my power. It's not my grace, but this is you working in the universe. And it's because of your mercy. If you went on who I was. If you went on what I've done, if you went on my mistakes or my shortcomings, you would have cut me off a long time ago. But oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good and his mercy endure forever. Oh my God, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he have redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Jeremiah said is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. He had mercy on each of us. He's having mercy on each of us. He's not not giving us what we earned or deserve, but he's applying it through mercy. And yes, my friend, yes, my brother and my sister, if you're blessed, if you're favored, if you're safe, if you're secure, if you're protected, if you're provided for, if God has done anything for you, he has done it out of his mercy. If you got a job, it's out of his mercy. If you're living without a job, it's because of his mercy. If you're living, if you're a young person, you're living on his mercy. If you're an old person, you're living on his mercy because his mercy is sustaining and his faithfulness is keeping us. He goes on again in verse two, for I have said mercy shall be built up forever. What is holding things together? What is establishing things? The mercy of God, the mercy of God. Hallelujah. We've seen a lot of stuff just in this year alone. It's hard to believe it's December 1st, but for the last 11 months, we've seen a lot of things. The war in Ukraine, the war in Israel, trouble, the famines, the hurricanes, the earthquakes. We've seen so much, and yet the Lord has preserved people in the midst of that. Why? Because of his mercy. His mercy, his mercy, his mercy sustained us. His mercy has kept us. His mercy has guided us through whatever it is that we're dealing with. It's because of the mercy and the grace of God. God's mercy doing what he does for us because he has the power to do it. And I thank God today that his mercy is existing and sustaining and leading and guiding and all of this through the mercy that God has provided all of us through all of this rather through through the mercy that God has extended unto us. It's of the Lord's mercy, saints. I know I said it before, but I'm going to say it one more time. It's of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because God's mercy keeps us. Hold on one second. The call dropped on the conference call. I'm trying to get back online. Give me just a second. If you are the host, please enter your pin. Thank you.
There are 16 participants in the conference. Please announce yourself. To mute conference, part all participants are muted. Saints, I apologize. The call dropped, but we're back on. But God's mercy is keeping and sustaining us in the midst of everything that we have gone through. His faithfulness, he's established, look at this, in the very heavens. In other words, in his throne room, in the place of his sovereignty, he has established faithfulness. God is the most consistent being in the universe. Look at verse 3. I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn unto David. David, my servant. God has created a covenant. A covenant is an agreement between God and man or God and a nation. It's when God is helping and God is leading and God creates a contract by which he ministers to people. And he does it by contract. He does it by contract. He does it in, in the line of him contracting and committing himself. Now, in the Old Testament, they would put blood on the covenant. Each person would cut themselves over the contract and bleed on the covenant. Why? Because it symboled the fact that I will die before I fail at this covenant. Let me say it again. The covenant says I'll die because before I fail at the covenant, which is ironic because Jesus died to fulfill the new covenant. Oh God, to show his love and to show his mercy and to show his everlasting capacity for truth. Jesus hung on a cross to fulfill fulfill the covenant for man. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. He has made the covenant with my chosen. This is the Davidic covenant. He says, thy seed will I establish forever and build up thy throne to all generations. Thy seed will I establish forever. God made a covenant with David and God's covenant with David was no man shall fail that sits on the throne of Israel. In other words, the Davidic line, the Davidic line would exist, oh God, for all time. And we're, before we're done, we're explaining why this is still so. That the Davidic line, the Davidic order, the Davidic covenant, the covenant with David would continue throughout all time. Israel will be led by a son of David. Let me say it again. Israel will be led by a son of David, by the root of Jesse. He's calling it forth that it will not, he will establish his throne forever. Thy seed will I establish forever. And what is the point, Bishop? The point simply is this, saints, hallelujah, that God has established a covenant with us and God is keeping his word to us. I know we go through a lot. I know we endure a lot. I know we see a lot. I know sometimes, although your circumstances don't match what God has said to us, sometimes situations don't match what God God is spoken, but I came to tell everybody God is the best and the first promise keeper. And if God committed himself to an oath, if God committed himself, hallelujah, to, to a testimony, he's going to keep his word. He told Abraham, I'll bless thee. The stars are not going to match your blessing. The sands of the seashore will not match your blessings. I'm going to bless you, Abraham, over and over again. I'm going to make your name great. I'm going to establish my covenant with you. I'm going to bless you and I'm going to make you a blessing. And I came to remind everybody that we are a part of that Abrahamic covenant that God has promised my God that he would bless us. God has promised that he would make us a blessing. God has promised that he would establish us as his people in the earth. And I don't want anybody, anybody, anybody to give up on God's promise. Yes, some days are challenging. They were challenging for Abraham. They were challenging for Isaac. They were challenging for Israel. But God has kept his promise. Oh, my God. And somebody's watching me this morning. The Lord told you in the midnight hour. The Lord told you in morning prayer. The Lord told you as your eyes, oh, God, watered with tears that he was going to take care of you. The Lord told you he would sustain you and lead you and guide you. The Lord told you that he would never leave you and he would never forsake you. 
And I came to remind you that God is going to keep his covenant. No, I don't deserve it because in so many cases, I've wavered, I've doubted, I've faltered in my faith, but God's going to fulfill his covenant. There's a scripture that says that even if we deny him, he will not deny himself. You know, oh God, let me just help somebody real quick and we got to go. Hallelujah. God will not stop being God because of our faith, our faithlessness. God will not stop being a healer because we don't believe. God will not stop being a way maker because we're shaky in our faith. God will not stop fulfilling his promise to us because we're inconsistent. Why? Because I'm not resting. I need to be consistent. It's truth. I need to be faithful. That's true. But my blessing is not resting in my consistency nor my faithfulness. My blessing is resting in the consistency of God. And I came to encourage everybody that is listening to me this morning that God is going to keep his covenant to you. God's going to keep his promise and God is doing it. Hallelujah. By his mercy. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for you and thank God for the word. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Thank you, Lord. My gracious God, I love you. <clears throat> I thank you for life, for health, for strength. I thank you for every single blessing you have bestowed upon us. Lord, you continue to show your grace, your favor upon your sons and daughters. And Lord, for that, we say thank you. Thank you for last night's rest and thank you for waking us up this morning. Today, we're in our right minds, able to get out of the bed, able to move around, able, my God, to join this great cadre of believers from all over the world. I thank you today for the morning prayer family. I thank you for everybody that's joined this prayer line. And Lord, whether we've come by Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or conference call, Lord, I want you to bless the prayer room right now. Lord, shower your anointing. Shower your presence. Shower your glory. Shower my shataye. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, shower miracles, signs and wonders upon us. Shower favor, my God, upon us and help us right now. Help us now, God. Oh God, to stand up and to serve you and to honor you. Lord, we're only here by your mercy and by your covenant grace. So we thank you, God, for living up to and fulfilling your covenant in our lives. Lord, I'm praying today for the names on the prayer list. I'm praying for every name that's in the text, every name sent by messenger or email. My God, every name, God, we're praying for them now. Lord, undertake, step in, provide, open a door, do what you promise in the mighty name name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying, my God, for Mother Vivian Wilkins. I'm praying for the Wilkins family, the Mack family, the Swinton family, the Nicholson family, for James and Raymond and April. I'm praying, my God, for Dr. Jennifer McCarroll Johnson and for Irvin Johnson. I'm praying for Mother Pittman today. I'm praying for Sister Sheila Reed, for Sister Edwards, the Edwards family. I'm praying for the Myers family, the Stacy and the Butler family. I'm praying for April Pettiford this morning. I'm praying for Jaquise today. I'm praying for Jalen and Bryson Cottingham. I'm praying for Bebe Robinson. I'm praying for Kariah Reddick. I'm praying, my God, for Miss Collins. I'm praying for Idonia Dawson. I'm praying for George this morning that you would undertake. I'm praying for Calvary Temple Pentecostal Church in Social Circle, Georgia. I'm praying for Isaiah. I'm praying for Burnett Smith and family, for Edward Fields. I'm praying for the Alton family, for Althea McLean and family. I'm praying for Yvette and Andrea and Isaiah. I'm I'm praying for the Graham family, for the Royce family, for the Dallas family. I'm lifting up Lynn, my God, Mother Wilson's daughter today. I'm praying for Gail Leah's family and her grandchildren. I'm praying, my God, for Charlie Britt. I'm praying for Haven or Heaven Britt. I'm praying for Madison, for Brooklyn Britt, for Margaret Andrini. I'm praying for Crystal White. I'm praying for Stephanie Rickenbacker's neighbors and teenagers. I'm praying for Sister Diane Garnett today. I'm praying for Sharonda Black's neighbors. I'm praying for the 
the church of our Lord Jesus Christ, the board of presbyters, oh God, in every ministry that's a part of the church. God, I'm praying for the board of bishops, the board of apostles. I'm praying, my God, for the temple of deliverance church family. I'm praying for Pastor Beanham. I'm praying for the Pitt County Shelter. I'm praying for daycares. I'm praying for all schools, colleges, universities. I'm praying for Hayes Elementary School, for Zion, for Zamoria Black, for Zamate Black, for Zayn Black. Lord, I'm praying for VJ Black, Brianna, Veronica, the Martinez family, the Nash family, the Bobbin family. God, every name that's on the prayer list, every name sent by messenger or text or email. God, we're praying, my God, that you would save, Lord, to the utmost. God, stretch out your healing hand and save. God, remember, my God, those outside of the ark of safety. And God, bring them in, Lord. I'm praying that you would remember. In the name of Jesus, oh my God, the backslider. Remember the backslider. Lord, deliver. Oh God, break the yoke. Destroy the yoke now. In the name of Jesus, somebody's blinded. Somebody's hindered. Somebody's hiding in their sin. But Lord, I'm calling on you, God, to call them out right now and to deliver and save. Lord, I'm praying right now that you remember the discouraged heart, that you lift the spirit now, that you, God, rekindle the faith and the fire, and Lord, help them in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, every name on the prayer list, minister right now. Every unspoken request, minister right now. Lord, I'm praying now for healing for the sick, healing for the injured, healing for those that are recovering from surgery. I'm praying, God, for your healing virtue to be upon them. I'm praying for Rydell Nixon. I'm praying for Denise from Charlotte, from, for Sarah Corden's sister. I'm praying, my God, for Betty Nichols. I'm praying, my God, for Mother Pearlie Williams. I'm praying for Mary Beckett's daughter. I'm praying for, oh God, brother, and oh God, Mother Fields this morning. I'm praying, my God, for Carmen Fears and Minister Fears. I'm praying for Roosevelt Purvis. I'm praying, my God, for Pastor Williams and Lady Williams. I'm praying for Selena Johnson's mother. I'm praying for Patricia Howell this morning. Thank you, God, for what you're doing. Continue that healing process. I'm praying for Channy Adams Wilkerson, for Annie Haywood. I'm praying for baby Melody Sneed. I'm praying for Melvin Westbrook, for Kenneth Jones, for Sister Jackie. I'm praying, my God, for Kenneth today. I'm praying for Sister Robinson's daughter. I'm praying for Mother Walker's nephew. Lord, I'm praying right now that you remember Mother Gloria Dean Pryor, that you remember Mother Ava Gardner, that you remember, my God, Pastor Sylvester and Lady Simone Williams, that you remember, my God, Deacon and Mother Moya's grandson, Adarius. God, remember and thank you for your healing touch on Dr. Dr. Bigelow. God, remember Deacon and Mother Moya's daughter today. Remember David. Remember Sierra Frazier. Remember Evelyn Johnson this morning. Remember Mr. Smith. Remember Deanna. Remember Elder Toby Davis today. Remember, my God, Miss Joanne Hopkins this morning. Remember Lady Gail Dalton. Lord, everybody that's sick everywhere. Remember Minister Perkins, God. Remember, oh God, Daniel today. Remember Deacon Adams. Remember Deacon Wilson. My God, remember in the name of Jesus, Deacon and Sister Harrison, remember Mother Williams, Mother Meadows, my God, remember Mother Lloyd today, I'm praying for Mother Williams, God, I'm praying, my God, hallelujah for Mother Perry, I'm praying that you remember, my God, Phil this morning, thank you, my God, for your healing touch now, thank you, God, and remember Mother DuBose today, God, continue that healing process, Lord, I'm praying for Missionary Janet Davis, Missionary, hallelujah, Gail Hardy, Missionary Joyce Domingo, Missionary, hallelujah, remember Missionary Hodges, Missionary Brisbane, Missionary Roseman, remember my God, Sister Denise McLean, I'm praying today that you would look on and remember. Mother Wilson, and remember Brother Carl today. I'm praying, God, for your grace to be upon Deacon Grant in the name of Jesus. Remember Pastor and Lady Winston. Remember, my God, Bishop D and Mother D. Remember Apostle Keith. Remember, my God, in your precious name. My God, remember Bishop Alfonso Brooks, Bishop Early Dillard. Oh, God, remember Mother Shirley Clark, Mother Evangeline Jenkins, Lady Andrea Maxwell. God, remember Mother Coleman today. Remember Sister Shakaya Polk. I'm praying today for Bishop Richard 
Phillips, Bishop Richard Johnson, Bishop Steve, Stephen Harper, Bishop Clonell Williams, Bishop Gregory Wilder, Bishop Irving Taylor, Bishop Larry Arnold, Bishop Alvin Palmer, Bishop Albert Norwood, Bishop William Jenkins. I'm praying for Lady Hallelujah forehand this morning. I'm praying, my God, that you remember everybody recovering in the name of Jesus. Remember in your precious name, Hallelujah, Apostle Herbert Evers, Apostle Leroy Joseph, Apostle Charles Williams, Apostle Sylvester Norwood. Remember Brother Wiggins. Remember Brother and Mother Sherrod. Remember Mother Garland today. Remember Deacon. Hallelujah. Oh God, Hallelujah. Remember Doctor. Haywood, Sister Haywood, oh God, and Dr. Haywood's mother. Remember Mother Jill and Mother Pride. Remember Mother Chambers today. Mother Carter this morning. Remember Mother Moorhead. Remember Lady Staten. Remember Pastor Carr and Minister Carr. I pray, God, that you remember Margie, oh God, and Ava. I pray, God, that you remember in the name of Jesus, Elder Tyson, Elder Smith, Mother Foster, Henry J., Brother Cliff, Mother Tanaj, Mother Holman, Missionary Simmons. Remember Cynthia, Catherine, and Duchess today. Remember Mother Jackson this morning. Remember Cynthia Bazden today in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying my God that you look on Marlette God, that you look on Maurice, Dennis, Tony, Kimberly. God send your healing virtue. Everybody in a hospital, everybody in a nursing home, in a rehab center. Oh God even in hospice God, you are still God and you're still the healer. So touch and heal now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God I'm praying today for the grieving this morning. Everywhere there's someone that's lost a loved one. Someone's lost a friend, a relative, a spouse, a father, a mother, and we're praying for them now in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember the Humphrey family, the Gordine family, the Singleton family, the Lee family. Remember Vanessa. Remember Isabella. Remember my God. Oh God, Lady Bishop, hallelujah, and the Perry family. Remember my God, Lady Wilder and the Dempsey family. Remember Bishop and Mother Valia. Remember the Mintz family. Remember the Barr family, the McClendon Pulley family, the Garland family today. God, remember them in a special way. Remember the Smith family, the Washington family. Remember my God, former President Jimmy Carter and his family. Remember Pastor Sylvester, Elder Eupolian, oh God, and the entire Williams family. Remember my God, the White family. Remember Remember Crystal Perkins. Remember Bishop Williams and family. Remember the Little family. Remember Lady Staten and family. Remember Linda Williams, Lester and family. Remember Miss Mary Jones and family. Remember Gwen Lamont and Rhonda Darlington, the Boatwright family, the Shalyn Wilson's family. God, remember the Shantez Wilson's family. Remember the Harrison family. In the name of Jesus, we're praying for grieving people everywhere. God, remember, oh God, Mother Walker and Mother Moya. Remember Jaleesa. Remember Jack. Jackie. Remember Phoenicia. Remember my God in your name, Whitney. Remember Takesha. God, remember all of these precious families. God, and give them grace now. I pray for Lady Maxwell, Charles and Cedric, and the family. I pray for Dr. Carter and the family. Apostle Phil Shekinah and the family. I pray, my God, that you remember, my God, Mother Harrell and the family, Mother Grant and the family. Remember the Groover family today. Remember the Kramer family, the Hardgrove family, the Blunt family. God, remember the Bynums, the Taylors, the Lloyds, the Carters, the Giles family. Remember the Meadows family. My God, the Moya family. God, remember my God, the Perkins family. I pray today, my God, that you remember the Dockery family. Sister Pam, her mom and her sisters. I pray today that you look on and remember my God, Anita and the Brian Hopkins family. Margie and the McLean, Melvin and Street families. Remember the Ransom family, the Jackson family, the Newkirk family, the Ned family, the Green family. I pray today that you remember the Nunn family, the Umstead family family. God, look on Brenda and the Alan McNeely family. Sean and Monique and the Gary Porter family. Trell and Ryan and the Alan Williams family. I'm praying, God, for Tommy and Michelle and the Clark family. God, all of these families need your grace today. God, give them strength. The Mays, the Dunlaps, the Purdy's, the Sneeze, the Washington Fields family, the Winninghams, the Bankses, the Wades. Remember, my God, the Middletons, the Taylors, the Felix family, the Zapata family, the Mannix, the Boodrums, the Gleans, the Arthurs, the Matherins, the Briggs family family, God. Remember, my God, hallelujah, the Taylors, the Josephs, that remember, my God, every grieving family. Remember the Davises, oh God, the Allens, the Caldwells, the Hayses, the Moors. Remember, my God, the Austins, the Harbisons, the Adams, and the Austin family. Every grieving widow, every grieving widower, every child, parent, sibling, loved one, God, remember them in the name of Jesus. God, I'm praying today that you remember, my God, the body of Christ, every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, 
pastor and teacher, every bishop and elder, all the first ladies. Remember the pastor's children. Remember, my God, mothers and missionaries, ministers and deacons, the young people throughout the body of Christ. God, remember them today. Remember, my God, in your precious name, musicians, singers, and psalmists, the entire church. Help us to know that we're living out of your covenant and out of your mercy. And God, let us be true to our part of the covenant, God. I'm praying for first responders, essential workers, firemen, policemen, EMTs. I'm praying for school employees and students everywhere, God. I'm praying that you remember them now in the name of Jesus. I'm praying, God, that you remember Northern High School, remember Carrington, remember Lowe's Grove. God, protect, cover, and make successful. God, I'm praying today that you remember everybody that works. Cover them in your precious blood. Remember everybody that needs a job. God, create opportunity. And God, I'm praying today that you look on this troubled world all over the globe. There is trouble. There is turmoil. There is war. But Lord, we need you today to heal the land. Heal the land from sin. Heal the land from hatred, from jealousy, from violence. Heal the land from injustice. Heal the land from racism and sexism. And let your church be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. God, we need you today. Cover, keep us, protect us. And we will give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Everybody on the line, come on, join me right now in giving God praise. Everybody on the line, come on, join me right now in giving God the praise. Hallelujah. Giving God the praise. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Hallelujah. This is my declaration for today. God is keeping his word. God is keeping his word. I'm not, you're not, we're not blessed because of our consistency. We're blessed because of God's consistency, because God is keeping his word. God made a promise to each of us, and he's going to fulfill his word in our lives. God made a promise to all of us, and he's going to fulfill his word in our lives. God is keeping his word. God is keeping his word. Hallelujah. I'm so thankful today that the Lord is sustaining us through his word. He cannot lie. And if he said it, he's got to bring it to pass. If he spoke it, it's got to come. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Has he not spoken and will he not do it? Has he not said it and will he not make it good? God is keeping his word. Saints, I need you to rest in that. I need you to live on that. I need you to trust in that, that God is indeed keeping his word. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for being with us. I'm trusting that this biblical meditation and prayer has blessed you and that your morning is off to a great start. Look, you can stay connected to Refuge Temple all day today. This prayer service is available on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Thank God for those that join us by conference call. Keep coming, keep sharing the number and stay with us. You can also stay connected through our podcast, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, SoundCloud and Spotify. All of it's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Let me thank everybody that sees and so and gives to this ministry. Your gifts help us to do the things that we need to do, and we thank you for them. And today is our day, December 1st, for our fundraiser to bless the Marie White School in Santo Domingo. And I want to thank everybody that's mailed something, everybody that's given on, um, on um, inst everybody who's given rather on Give a Fly or given on the church website or given on our cash app because you're blessing right now. We are about halfway to our goal. We're about half way to our goal. We need the rest of the funds to come in today so that we can make sure that we meet the salaries and the, the annual bonus to the employees of the Marie White School. It's required by the law. They deserve it because they work hard and we want to be a blessing. And you can help us today. You can mail a gift to P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. That's P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. You can can also give online. Our website is www.refugetemple, N as in North, C as in Carolina.com. And you can give on the donate page. You can also give with the Givelify app. With the Givelify app, just simply type in Refuge Temple Burlington. You'll see a picture of the church and you can make your gift there. Or you can use Cash App. And our Cash App, our new Cash App is dollar sign capital O-N-E, 
capital R-E-F-U-G-E, One Refuge, one word, One Refuge, capitalize the O, capitalize the R, One Refuge, and you can make your gift there. You'll see a picture of the church logo to know that you're in the right place, and we thank you. Gifts came in through the night. Gifts are coming in this morning. So I want everybody that can to sow that seed. As I said, we're about halfway to our goal. We need your help to make it all the way. And this is a matching gifts thing. So as you give, ask somebody to join you in giving. Ask a friend. Ask a neighbor. Ask a church member. I'm going to give 50. Would you give 50? I'm going to give 100. Would you give 100? Just ask somebody and make that gift. And trust me, God is going to bless you in a wonderful way. Thank you for your giving. But thank you most of all for being a part of the morning prayer family because people everywhere are blessed because we pray each morning. So please keep coming, keep praying. And as you pray, pray for me, pray for Lady Davis, pray for our children, pray for my father, pray for my sisters, pray for our nieces and nephews, our entire family, my in-laws, pray for everybody. Pray for Refuge Temple that God will continue to bless us. And let's pray one for another that the grace of God might keep us, sustain us, and and hold us in his grace. The Lord cover you with his mercy. And the Lord keep the covenant he has made in your life. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. God bless each of you. Shalom, shalom.